everybody who knows me knows my affinity uh, for this particular plant because I talk about it all the time. It's the one that I always recommend people buy. This is called our ponytail palm. First of all, it does look like a ponytail, right? If you were gonna wrap a ponytail, look, that's what it looks like. But I want you to look underneath. And this is, by the way, Doug, this is the size they'll get, right? You're gonna get a fully developed ponytail palm. At the base, you'll see there's these like little almost like gourds. That, that's what holds the water. This plant can go weeks without water because I've taken vacations and not watered it mm. and the thing lasts forever. But what I love is it feels like ponytail hair. So uh, I think I told you, um, uh, Rochelle, my son's girlfriend, Lily, saw this at my house and she's like, oh my gosh, I have to get one of those. So I bought her one. She has it up at, at school because it's like, it's the perfect college kid plant because if you, if you oh. neglect it, mm -hmm. it still grows crazy. But you yep. told me, Rochelle, that if I wanted it to get bigger, I would put it in a larger plant because it'll, it'll expand with, so, so if you don't want it to be big, you can contain it, but the bigger you yeah. go, the bigger it'll get. And look at this one. <laughs> look at the size yeah. of this guy. Wow. Yeah, no, they will grow. And other, you know, the other thing they do is over time, I have one, this is true story, uh, 15 years ago or six, 17, whenever it was years ago, when I moved to New England, I worked for an interior plant company and we put a lot of these inside offices. And the reason we did that is because they are so easy to grow. They can take a lot of abuse. They don't need a lot of light. They're going to be completely happy and beautiful no matter where you put it. I take mine out for the summer, but this really is a house plant and it is a stunning one. It's so easy. But the thing is, is we had one. I worked at this plant care company and somebody had thrown one away. It was literally in the dumpster. And I like, and it was still alive. I mean, but I literally crawled in that dumpster. I was pregnant at yeah. the time and hauled that thing out. And it is in the next room right now. It is about this tall. They grow like little trees over time they get a little taller it's very slow but i mean this one's like 17 years old these are incredibly long-lived house plants mine is a dumpster diver special and it is so gorgeous i mean i have all these other ones too like this one i love them my cats love them just fyi yeah they can't they hurt them. it um it's my only he's you know, looking at me right now that's, he's right know, there at my desk rochelle it's 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 my only indoor plant and i actually have it in a place in my window where it gets pretty much just a little reflective sunlight i water it every two weeks mm -hmm. here's mine right there it's kind of tough to see in that little shot but you'll see i actually have i bought a beautiful like um actually i let lily my son's girlfriend pick out the pot for me online we got this it's kind of like a checkerboard pot and um it is thriving I, you know and i like the size of it i don't want it to get any bigger so that's how i keep it but you yeah. can see it goes high up in the picture window it's beautiful and i get more i, I get more compliments when people come into the house they're like is that a real plant? I'm like, yeah, it's really growing. And they love the base of it, you know, the little globes that are underneath. And I literally probably mm -hmm. give it a half a cup of water or a cup of water every three weeks. I mean, I don't, I, it, and it thrives. It does so well. So if Guy, you don't have a I green have gone pump, months without watering yeah, mine months. before. And, uh, you know, I've gone months and the things don't die. Like you can, you can truly neglect this plant and you're not going to have a problem. Like you might lose a couple little leaves around the base right. and like just pull them off and, you know, water it and you'll be off to the races again. This is the most forgiving houseplant you can have. This is, if you're a beginner houseplant, I just have it in this pretty pot. Um, if you're a beginner with the houseplant thing, don't know where to start, this is the place to start. It's so easy and you don't have to worry about the light of it. You don't have to worry about the watering of it. If you, you know, getting into a, a watering habit is a habit you have to get into like a, you know, walking or jogging, you know? So if you're worried about, uh, you know, taking care of the plant and getting into that habit and, you know, need your training wheels, start with the ponytail palm because this this plant will not get mad at you when you mess up it just won't it so, will yeah at, <laughs> it will at stick this with point, you <laughs> you know let me show everybody again so this is what makes it so easy when you order from leaf and petal first of all there for every plant they give you they're going to give you a little brochure uh this is probably one where you probably don't need the brochure because literally it's really hard to kill this plant i mean even if you don't water it for weeks at a time but it'll tell you exactly how you can get it to grow bigger if you would like um it's got all the information and when you order today and not so much with this plant because this is mainly an indoor plant but we will send out the plants like in this case with the ponytail palm you get it right away um, because it is an indoor uh, plant you can use it outdoors as well i've never put mine outside um so i guess if i put it outside would that just make it grow more if i put it out in the sun okay i kind of like the size of it but anyway so depending on where you live 
uh, when you normally buy plants with us, um, we know exactly what the growing season is in your area. So the northern half of the country has, is in pink. That'll be like May, like, you know, middle end of May. If you're in the middle of the country, kind of like uh, end of March, early April to, to late April, and then uh, directly, things will come out right away if you live in the southern half of the country, all right? And that really yeah. depends on what you buy. You don't have to worry about it. We know where you live based on your zip code, so we will know exactly when to ship your plants out. You don't pay for them until your order goes out. So it's a great way to get yourself some great plants. It's hard to believe that this plant here is the same as this plant here. The only difference is we, if you keep this in a small container, it'll stay that size. If you wanna move it, and I don't know if you guys can get in with your camera to look at the size of the, of the globes. Can you guys get that, you think? Brett, maybe? I'm gonna turn it a little bit so you can, turn it this way so you can see it. Look at the size. Can you see them in there? Yeah, you mm -hmm. can see them. So look, they look like coconuts in there, right? That's what's holding all the moisture. The moisture. It's like it's got its own backpack wherever it goes, and it's got plenty of food, so it holds <laughs> on to it until it needs it. But look at look at these look at this stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. That's why we call it ponytail. You you could probably put it up in a little thing if you wanted to. There, look at that. Yeah, you could. Yeah, this grassy thing is just. I wouldn't do that. It's unique for a houseplant. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm a big grass lover in the landscape. I love that I can have that same grassy texture in the house and it's happy because, you know, out in the landscape, the grasses are very perennial in that they come on in the spring, they throw out all this growth over the spring and summer, but then they die back for the winter. Like no matter what you do, they're going to die back. But you can have that year round, beautiful, just grassy, like, I mean, I love to run my fingers through it. This is just, yeah. you're right. It feels like hair. Very soothing. It's just soft and soothing. <laughs> I think it might like it as well. It's like petting an animal. It's like, it is <laughs> so, so nice. And your cats will love it too. Your cats will love this stuff. They won't tear it yeah. up, but they'll, they'll be sitting there, you know, do the, eh, what whatever cats do. Anyway, uh, if you want to grab it, it is 695, Jed liked that, right? 695703. We have, uh, we have our today's special still available. Another, what, 23, 24, 2500 of you just